Welcome back everyone to the Dark Forest. A shout out to my channel members and my patrons. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing today. Also, a shout out to all the authors who have been emailing me their stories lately. I appreciate you all. Now, let's get spooky. Back when I was a kid in 2015, I went camping in my grandparents' RV with them in the late spring, right before summer was about to begin. I was basically raised by my grandparents, as my father was never in the picture and my mom had recently passed away. My grandparents were the prime example of a great marriage, an everlasting marriage, as this camping trick in particular was their 53rd anniversary. My grandmother was actually the one that enjoyed the camping the most. My grandfather always spent most of his time in the garage. Even at his old age, he was still working on something. But he was never the type of person that liked to leave home. He was a homebody, and that's just the way he's always been. My grandparents owned a decent-sized RV. It had a bed in the back and also a couch, and pretty much for the most part a kitchen. I was the oldest out of 11 different grandchildren, but I was always the one that liked to spend time with them the most. A lot of it had to do with not having my parents around as much as they should have been, but they were both like second parents to me, and I loved them dearly. For their anniversary, my grandmother wanted to go camping in their RV. Not a very typical request. Most people would like to go to a beach resort, get a regular hotel in general somewhere in a big city maybe like New York or Miami. But not my grandma. She liked the outdoors. And my grandfather wasn't about to complain because one, they already owned the RV, and two, it was only about an hour away from their house. So when they initially told me about the weekend getaway, I was happy for them. But they both insisted that I went along with them. They trusted me to be alone at the house. I'm not terribly sure why they wanted me to come with them. Maybe just for company. I mean, I was really close with my grandma after all. We would play this dice game called 10,000, which is something that my uncle taught my grandmother when he was locked up in jail years back. Or we would play some Uno or Yahtzee. We always liked to spend time with each other and drink Pepsi. They let me take that Friday off of school, that way, they could have two consecutive days to go camping in the RV. When we first arrived over at the campsite, there was barely anybody there. We had gotten there bright and early. That way, we had plenty of time to set up without having to rush anything. Once everything was set up, we had an early lunch and we just relaxed around the river. The RV spot that my grandpa had got, it faced the water. It was beautiful. There was one of those circular metal fire pits right there as well. And my grandfather went to go purchase some firewood for that night, while me and my grandma just finished up our sandwiches watching the water. I don't remember anything else really going on that day, the first day at least. That night, we ate dinner and we just relaxed around the campfire and went to sleep. That's about all. The following day is when all shit hit the fan. Excuse my French. I don't recall what my grandparents were doing at the time, but they were preoccupied and I was kind of getting bored. I told them I was just going to walk around, maybe find some hiking trails, and just go on a little adventure of some sort. I didn't own a cell phone back then, so there really wasn't terribly too much for me to do. The campground was beautiful. I've camped with them in their RV multiple times, but this one was really different. I actually think I preferred this place due to having the river right next to the campsite. It was just so nice to listen to at night. After wandering around the campsite, I eventually did come across a small narrow trail. It was far off on the northern side and I figured why the hell not. So I went inside. The trail was narrow. It looked like no one has walked on this trail in months. Maybe nobody has noticed it for a long time. Or maybe someone didn't make it. Maybe something else made the trail. I remember thinking to myself, giggling around. 
I was 13. I just let my imagination go to work as I was having fun, picking up a decent-sized stick and swinging it around like a sword. I remember walking for quite a while. It was in the early afternoon, so there was plenty of sunshine left for me to get back. The deeper I went, the colder it became. Now it was spring, and it was about to be summer, so at this point, the weather was no longer cold. But the deeper that I went into this trail, the colder it got, but the more darker and dense everything seemed to become. And eventually, I got bored there too. It felt like the trail just went on and on, winding corner after winding corner, to no end. Eventually, I gave up and turned around and started walking back towards camp. My attention span was literally 10 minutes, maybe 15 before I gave up. At that point, after turning back around, I had a good 15 minutes, maybe a 20 minute walk back. It really just depended on my pace. But while I was heading back, I had to take a pee. I figured nobody was around. It didn't seem like nobody even knew about this trail to begin with. So I just whipped it out right then and there on the dirt trail and peed. After giving it a good shake or two, I whipped it back inside and that's when I heard it. This guttural growl coming from behind me. It almost sounded like someone with an upset stomach times 1,000. I jolted back around to see nothing. At the time, I thought I was just hearing things. Maybe it was my own stomach. Maybe I was hungry for some lunch. I didn't pay it any mind. I just continued on walking back towards the entrance of the campground. As I continued my trek back, I started hearing these weird snapping noises again from behind me. Every time I would turn around and look, I would never see a thing. Time after time, I would hear the snapping noises and the guttural sounds, and every time that I would hear it, it sounded like it was getting louder. Something was following me. At that point, I was starting to pick up the pace, as I could see the opening to the campsite up ahead. As I was approaching near the entrance to get to the main site where other people were camping at, that's when I heard a loud voice scream out to me. But I didn't see anyone. Hey! Kid, are you alright? Someone from the campsite had noticed that I was on the trail. I replied back in response. Yeah. I'm on the trail heading back. It's kind of weird back here. As soon as I finished that sentence, I heard this crack sound that sounded like it was right behind me. I spun around. I didn't see anything. Then, something shifted in the bushes to my left. I turned my head in a swift motion to see this giant dog creature running off. I literally saw it for like one second. It was probably about 15 feet away from me in the brush and it disappeared as soon as I turned my head. It was a dog. That I do remember. But the weirdest thing, though, is it was taller than I was. I've never seen any dog bigger than me.